feel the drive along for train. You sing. Sing some Taylor Swift. Air blood. And I don't know the next line, but I know we're going to see her. Because you've got tickets. Is that better? Nobody wants to see my belly. What have you pressed, oh, monkey? Press button, Sam's pressed silly buttons. Hello, anyone who's watching. If there's nobody watching, then oh, hello. I hate this new Facebook. Oh, oh, Facebook is an absolute nightmare. Hi, Samantha, Pam, Bud. Oh, Pam, Trish. Bud. Trish. Wendy. Trish is not Trish. Julie, Michael. Leslie Lakin. Hello, Leslie. Everybody. Michael Cooley. Hello, Michael. How's magic going? Michael does the magic parties. We ought to do that for your birthday next year. Book a magic party. <laughs> Evening or what is oh Sam's oh, Samantha, Samantha's watching and she's just messaging me something. Is she messaging you while she's watching? Oh no, oh, no Samantha no, no, no. Samantha, bless you. Trish, you're watching. We cave. love you. <laughs> Keep Trish, safe. I can't find the cave. You watch Trish, it. you're just watching it. Your name's said. just come up, Trish. Hello. Honestly, welcome to the cave. I love the cave. The it's cave. great. Though. And just to um, tell everyone, it's warm in here. everybody, it is warm in here, and you haven't even been tumble drying. Well, I have, but it's warm in have you? Though. But um, the thing about the craft cave is, and this is so funny when anyone comes up, and I was reminded because Paula came up in February, and they walk in and go, "Oh, isn't it small?" Yeah, Isn't it smaller? I mean, it is tiny. It really is. I know when we've had the camera and I've shown it round and things, it looks bigger, but it is small. I'm hoping to do some movements around at some point in the next couple of weeks just to try and give myself a little bit more space. Um, but Carol Bignall says a magic party sounds good. Yeah, we'll invite you, Carol, definitely. Yeah. So, um, so hello, Karen. Magic shows are doing. Magic shows are doing real well. That's good, Michael. Because it's Magic Mike. Can you make, um... <laughs> Can you make what? Magic Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, hi, guys. Greetings, one and all. Hi, Sue. Mike. I'm just reading comments now, basically, and that's messing magic around. Magic the lovely fairy's here. The foiling fairy. Ah, oh, the foiling fairy. Actually, here on the live, instead of catching up later. Good for you, Chris. So, hi, guys. Welcome to Craft Cave Live. It is two minutes past seven on the something of something. Very Should we do a giveaway tonight, monkey? Yes. Yeah, we do need to. We are very sorry. We couldn't we do the birthday one. We, we were two. just too exhausted. Where, where are they? Sorry, what? Oh, down there. We have finally been given the box kits that we were promised two years ago from Practical Publishing. That's it. Well, you have two to give away and you sign both of them. So we have two to give away and Sam says that he will sign both of them. No, John. No, I will. So we have two uh, box kits to give away tonight. We'll give those away completely free. Uh, Julie Gale says she'll come and see Magic Mike with you. <laughs> it's not Jonathan's cup of tea, it's my book. It's, it's my more book. Sam's thing. It didn't, no, it didn't float mine. Um, so we're going to give those away. So we'll do a couple of live questions tonight and get you to do that. So normal rules, guys. If you have, can we, we can throw something else in from the Magic Box as well, can't we, Sammy? Oh, that's got him going. He's now looked doing how to get to the magic box of get Sam's giveaways. So we are going to start trying to do that again. Um, so if you have got any questions, product questions, technique questions or anything, if you put the phrase question in, on the comment in front of your question, then Sam will take a note of them and we'll send, we will answer them all at the end because that's really, really worked well. And Peg's message is Peg's watching from Indiana. No, that's Peg, not Peggy. Oh. Peg's in Indiana in America. Peggy Griffin, I think, is in Boston. That's the giveaway for the box kit winners. No, I've asked them about it. I asked them on that Skype call the other day. Um, so we're having a great, you know, <laughs> just we're, we're, Sam and I are just having a chat here. Sorry, guys. So Sam's going to give away, ooh, a couple of Sizzix 3D textured impression embossing folders. Brand new, unused. They're ones we've bought I'm and never to used. To no. no, he's not going to the chippy tonight. He's making um, pork, I think. Mm, make, yeah, making pork. Yeah. He's making, well, he's cooking pork, are you? Um, right, so, welcome to Craft Cave. Um, so, again, if you have got any questions, put the word question. Sammy's got a piece of paper and a pencil. 
And if he hasn't, I'm just going to pass him one. Oh, fuck, he's already asked the question. Yeah, so here you go. Piece of paper and a pencil, monkey. Oh, right. Yes. Now, I've got an answer for that one, but we'll leave that one. I spoke to the uh, Inky Fairy. It's so difficult for me not to say the Inky Fairy's name because she's a very good friend I've known for years. Um, But we are not allowed to say who she is. So... I'm going to pull these away. I hope everyone enjoyed the shows. Again, thank you for everyone who watched and joined in and sent an email. Whether you bought or not, it is lovely that people watch and set and join. Obviously, it's lovely if you bought it, but it's not the be all and end all. It's is it for us? No. So really, um, but thank you for all the support. It has been absolutely amazing. And what I thought I would do tonight, well, I asked Sammy. I said, "What should I do?" And he said. Do something with his um, uh, frame that he helped design. Um, he said, but why don't you do a, like an, and he didn't know the title, but like an invertage or an inverted card. I'm always building and stacking things up. So I thought, and Sammy suggested, it would be nice to show you the principles tonight of how we step down and how we step into something. So you're sort of going in. So I will give you a couple of different options of using the die or using one of the bauble stamps in there. So I'm going to ask the first giveaway question. Are you picking someone at random, monkey? Yeah. And um, what brand were the baubles released under? Because they weren't John next door. So what brand were the bauble stamps and dies? And yes, I am naughty. I have got a spare of that. So, but I pulled it out of my normal big set. So that's what we're going to do. So the question is, what's that one? Sam will pick a winner at random. So what we're going to do is I thought I'd play with a bit of colour. And I thought we'd play with, as Sam said, going down, oh, he's mixing resin. If anyone caught today, some of mine, well, one of mine and every other sample on the show was Sam's. On Let Leone Loose. On Let Leone Loose. If he didn't, it's worth having a look. No, if you go on to Let Leone yeah all the samples are on there because i can't remember what it is so what i've done is i thought we'd have a i love blues you know that i've not used any blues this christmas because i don't sometimes they really don't suit it but i thought let's try something a little bit crisp so what i've done is take the piece of coconut white card and this is all the prep that i've done is i have cut down a um, piece of coconut white to seven and a half inches Right, Carol, you're not allowed to win anyway, don't, don't worry. Me, you said I'm oh, playing, but don't pick me. Right, right. We we never pick an angel. Uh, we, we don't allow them to win. Sorry, Carol and Leslie and June and people. And then I've cut a couple of different shades of blue. And some more of the white. And I've cut all of those at seven and a quarter. And it's the only thing, the reason I'm doing this is it's really important when you're working from the top down... To make all the layers underneath that little bit smaller in case you go off. But I always think it's a fab way to do this. So I'm going to start really basically. And I'm just going to cut a frame. And I'm just going to evenly put it down. And I'm cutting that into the white one. Right. Sam got a thank you for what he had made. Says Michael. Thank you he well. did, bless him. And Le Leone was very lovely and grateful. So I'm just going to take that down and I'm going to cut that. This is our first level. And what I'm doing is... I know that sometimes we'll have this prepped. Um, and I've had plenty of time actually to prep today because I woke up at five. <laughs> but I think it's, sometimes it's worth seeing it from start to finish so we know what we can achieve. So I'm just going to run that through and cut it. And that's going through. And then I'm going to get my next layer, which I've gone to the blue. And because we're going in, it's basically, I'm going to cut a different layer on each one down. So, we've taken that white one. Oh, sorry. So, Debbie Sherwood. Um, it's up to you, Debbie. I mean, this, the die is a six-inch die set, so it's up to you. I haven't got the next one. I haven't. Uh, so, you might have to get the next question. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take that. Remember I said we cut it small, but look, I already went off. So, I'm just going to set that a little bit smaller so it's in the right sort of place turn it over and then I go to the next die in the set and I put that into place I'm going to take the next die in the set 
and I'm going to put that into place. And then I'm just going to use pink tape to tape it down. Now, the reason I'm not using my long piece of tape trick is because I'm wanting this in a set place on this card. So, and anyone, I've had a couple of people notice, a couple of people saying about the pink tape. We've had such wonderful feedback. Thank you, guys. It is brilliant tape. I have to say thank you to Sam and Peter for finding it. And Peter for working so hard um, with the manufacturers in Italy to get it for us. Um, because they, they weren't willing at first at all, were they? So I'm going to put this through, you know. And again, I always say this. Remember, it's a detailed die. There's no way we're going to get that line and that line cut going this way. But it is detailed, so I need a shim on top. My machine is older. So I'm going to put a shim underneath and I'm going to put my plate on top and I'll show you how it cuts. I really think oh, it's the best tape apart from the blue power tape. The power tape. I've actually started putting cards together with it, not just 3D projects. And I'm really shocked. It is really I know how good the power tape is. Um, but yeah, it's it's been amazing. But we don't in craft artists, we genuinely you know, a couple of missteps along the way, but we don't do anything that we don't truly believe is different or is better than what's out there. We really don't. So I'm just going to turn that over. Can you see there? Just like I said, hopefully you can see every bit's cut along that line. Every bit's cut along that line. But those two bits where it's hit it have not cut. So it's just a case of rotating it, plates back on and running it back through. You know, you've got to do that. It's the best tape. Dave has pinched a roll off me for when he's doing lines on walls to stop the paint oh, coming yes. off. I never thought about doing proper I bet this is brilliant for proper painting because I, when I used to mask off, I used to do paint techniques. I used to do sort of my apartment and flat and other people's, you know, in the, in the 90s when you used to do all like the um, rag rolling and clouding and t-shirt printing on walls. You used to do all that and the, the tape you used to buy masking tape was terrible so can you see now i'm happy that nearly all that everything's cut but i'm still not a hundred percent on a couple of the edges so i'm gonna run it back through you know n always check your die i know it's you know we always say this and it's the, oh, i'm going to do it but just turn it over and check before you move it off that everything's cut how you want it's worth that extra 20 seconds rather than spending hours and hours trying to prick it out or finding that it all tears. And this is a delicate frame. I mean, why I've called it a really delicate set of snowflakes after Sam, I don't know, because you're not really delicate, are you, monkey? He's the first to admit he's not delicate. But the thing on the tape, and I know I sound like an advert, is no, no adhesive left behind. Oh, Trish says, Sam, don't tell Eddie it's good for masking paint. He'll be raiding your craft room. Hey, but then, then you've got me into crafting. Then you get me into crafting, says Sam. So that means you can buy more stuff. Yeah. So again, I'm just going to get these bits out. You know, everything is literally just falling out. I probably should have had one of these already cut, but I did think. So, have we picked, have you picked a winner yet? One minute. Oh, Sam's doing resin. Are you doing more of those moons? No. Because you weren't keen on the moons, were you? Yeah, I'm not doing the So, I will answer a quick question I've just seen. Um, is it best to stamp before you cut the baubles? I find it a lot easier to stamp than cut. Trying to stamp onto a cut shape to me is very difficult. You can't really clamp your card down because the bauble's going to cover the whole of it. It moves and all sorts of things. So I, or I always stamp then cut. But if you did watch the show, and I will try and show it tonight, there is. if you're really worried about layering it up, there is a way you can do it with your waist to make sure you do get it to cut out perfectly. So all I'm doing... While I'm doing this, I'm going to say something else as well. You know how normally I put this on and stick it down and then cut the middle out? When I'm going in, I don't need to, and really I, I don't want to. 
I want the next layer. So let's get the next layer going. And because this card's smaller, I can just put that on and I can run that through and cut it. Simple shape, so no shim. And we're just going to run that through. So I'm basically now on die three of the set whilst I'm pricking this out. A lot of people, lovely people saying, oh, I hope everyone's well and things. We have got such a lovely group in here. Even Sam will admit that, won't you? He's not listening to me. Is oh, the winner of the first giveaway is Lynn Bonner. Um, so, Lynn, if you private message myself or Sam with your address, we will get your prize, which is a brand new John Next Door box kit from earlier in the year, the spring edition. So it is unused. Um along with a new Sizzix embossing folder, and we'll send that out to you tomorrow. That's right, we're going to post office tomorrow, yeah, won't we? If we get your address. So, Lynn, if you're still watching, you're the winner. Message us with your address, and we'll get that sent out to you. So I'm just taking the pieces out, but again, hopefully you can see they are easily coming out. So, there we go. So just taking those away. I feel like I'm always running out of things to say. Hi, my name's John. Hi, my name's John from John Next Door. And Crafts 2. And Crafts 2. I hate doing those. If anyone's seen any of the adverts, they call them VTs on Crank Craft. I hate filming them. I had to go to an Airbnb in Sheffield to film that. When it snowed. When it snowed, which is why my hair looks wet on it. Um, yeah, because people go, oh, it must be great when you wear things like that. You must get makeup and hair. No. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't wear and don't have to wear makeup. So hopefully you can see. I've got my frame. I know it doesn't look very obvious. But of course, we're going down. I'm yelling timber. <laughs> Sorry. I know. But you see now, we're starting to work in. And then I put the white on. So we've kind of got the blue into the white. Sorry, I'm late. So starting to Sorry, work it down. Yeah. You're, you're excused, Janet. You can be whatever time you want. Down. So now I'm going to work on the next layer. So again, I'm going to go down and changing colour to a different blue. <coughs> and I love this. When you keep things tonal, it doesn't just monochrome. You don't have to just be blue and white. I've gone to a different blue. Just so I've got a little bit of difference in it. So again, make sure I can't see anything on the front. Easiest way to do it is with your back one. And I'm gonna drop that one in. And obviously I want a gap through this. So again, I'm gonna put my circle in and I'm just gonna tape that down and cut it off. So really simple. It is raining again. So I've got that in the right place and we're going to run that one through. And again, a bit of detail in the die and it's going in the middle of the card. So I'm going to put it on as a slight wonk, as much of a wonk as I can get it on the plates. And I'm going to put my shim on and I'm just going to run that through. So I don't think, have we had one day where it's not rained yet in July? I don't think we have here. I think we did the stamps last week, didn't we? But if you message us next Wednesday, we can have a look and see if we can use the stamps. Yeah, yeah. so what I'll do is we'll do next week's um, Craft Cave Live. We'll all be about stamp. We'll be all about stamping and we'll use those stamps in that. I bet I didn't find you what? What's your thing? I'm completely lost. So again, what I did, oh, did see what I didn't do here? I didn't check if it was cut. So I need to slot it back in and tape it back down and just run it through again because it's, it's not cut through fully. But don't be afraid of that. And I know you'll get a lot of people saying this and it's one, when I worked um, with Sue Wilson, it, it used to say privately, it's the one that drove her crazy. 
people would say, this dye doesn't cut. And um, those of us who dye cut a lot know it's never the dye that doesn't cut, it's something we're doing or it's our machine. It's never the dye that doesn't cut, it's the dye cutting machine that doesn't do. Is that set already? I mean, Sam's just poured resin and it's set already. That's why you use the quick set, isn't it? So can you see there, I've got a lot better cut, yeah? And where it's gone straight across, I might not be happy. Never be afraid to put it back in. It's time this. It's time for me to change this machine to the new one I bought, isn't it? I think. Rainy in Cambridgeshire too. And like you, I don't think we've had a single day in July without some rain. We have, when we went to Cornwall last week, I forgot. Trish has said, do you not reuse it? I do reuse my tape. Um, it hangs on here, but when I'm doing demos and things, to speed it up, I tend to take new, which is why I went crazy and bought 10 refill rolls and um, lots of different dispensers. Because if you're coming to the workshop at the Art of Craft on Saturday, obviously we're going to be using these dies, but we're also going to be using, um, we're going to be using the tape a lot as well. So I've cut this through. I'm just going to take the pieces out really simply. You, can you think of a question for another giveaway, Monica? Andrea. Oh. Andrea, what? Not raining here, sunny at 90 degrees. Oh, no, Andrea, that's really not fair. I keep forgetting. Where is Andrea, though? Isn't she in? Oh, you need to do measurements as well. You need to recap measurements. Yeah, I will recap the measurements that I'm going through. But basically, the top layer is seven and a half and all the other layers are seven and a quarter so that they all fit behind. But I will recap, I promise. Um, so, I will. I've got a question. Sam's got a question. No. Is this for the giveaway? No. Oh. No, lady, this question. Sue has. I've got to my resume. Oh, I'll have to click the pictures off then. Sam will click the, the, he's going to click the pictures off and he'll share them. Yeah. So you can see there now we've got our next one, which is our lighter blue. We drove past Shaz apparently on the way down. Did we? Yeah. Did she see us? No, we drove past that. No, she is down there. Oh, did we drive past you, Shaz? Past you, that's not fair. Where did we go to? Bude? Oh, went to Cornwall. Went to Cornwall. Went to Bude. Went to Bude, we went to Linton and Lynmouth. Went to Club Early. Went to Club Early. First we go went to Something Ho. We went to where, sorry? Something Ho. Something, at Westwood Ho. Okay, yeah, sure. We did the arcades there, we went to... Oh, we did the gorgeous Thai there as well. Padstow. Oh, the oh, Thai yeah. restaurant. If you live anywhere near Westwood Ho, Shaz, go to the Thai restaurant. It's probably, it's probably like it was beautiful. It was absolutely really, really nice. Glasgow weather's not so good either. I'm trying to think of a polite way to say isn't that usual though. Because be our good friend Shelag says she gets very few well, nice days. She's oh, she's Aberdeen. So again, what I'm going to do is I've switched to white and I'm going to take the middle out again. So we'll take that out. So yes, we were, we were dotting in and out of Cornwall. Oh, Julie, you two in the arcades. Yeah, you know what? We only went once. Yeah, we, only we only went once to the arcade, Julie. Anyone? Um, and Sam played accidentally on one of the adult machines and won. He did. You'd forgotten that, hadn't you? But I'm going to say, didn't that pay for the bushes to be done? I thought that's what you would do. <laughs> right. Yeah. To pay the man. <laughs> so I'm going to take in a circle out. So. We're basically starting now to get all the layers. Sorry if this is not very interesting, uh, interesting tonight. I'm trying to be. But we're talking about the principles of how we go in. Yeah, I love that. That mixture of colour. Heading north tomorrow, Mull, Fort William and Braemar is Emma Woods. Is the arcades the same as a gambling casino? Not really, Andrea. No, it's, different. it's like amusement arcades, no. um, like the games that you play with machines where you pick up balls and teddy bears and things. I don't know, like Coney Island? Coney Island, yeah. 
Oh, someone's in painting. We didn't do painting. I painting a day before the dreadful flood in the fifties. Oh. oh, Sue. Yeah, I'm going to say, and if you are a lady, there's a there's a couple of ladies who um, supply cards into the craft centre in Lynmouth, and we bought a couple, didn't we? Have I got any pin flare? Um, no, my tube's gone from there. Yeah, which means you must have, yeah, have you used it. Our two P sliders. Need a new one. Two P sliders and things like that. We love the two P machines. You love two. Yeah. I love the two P machines. It's the only thing I can ever win on. I'm not. I'm not a gambler. I've never gambled, so that's fun for me. You do very well. Yeah. So you see now, we're working down. And again, this doesn't have to be Christmas. This could be beautiful winter. You could put a lovely picture in there. So the final stage, I'm going to give you two options on this. And of course, what I need to do is for the next one, it's going to be that darker blue again, because we've gone darker blue to lighter blue. So next layer needs to be darker blue. So ladies just said she's in Plymouth. We went, did, we went to Plymouth a couple of years ago, didn't we? Not Plymouth. Was it Portsmouth? I've been to Plymouth, but a long, long time ago. The grabber never grabs a toy. Yeah, that's yeah, that, that, the grabber never grabs yeah. toy, to, yeah. Very, very rare that you get one. So what I'm going to do now is in the middle of here, I'm going to put the central panel. Now, there, as I said, there are options here. I will reuse some tape. Um, so there are options here. You can do this one. You could use any of the three large baubles. So if you've got any of the three large baubles um, from the first set from Sam's baubles, you notice the theme there. They were called Sam's baubles because they fit into this one. No, there were no bingo machines, Gemma. Bingo and even when we went to Yarmouth the last couple of years over New Year, there's been no bingo. So we actually haven't managed once to play bingo together or against each other, have we? At any point. It's crazy. It does seem to be. It really does seem to be a dying thing. I mean, that was the thing about the seaside. Kiss me quick hat, stick of rock, sugar dummy and a game of bingo. I mean, that was Blackpool when I was a kid. So again, I'm looking, I'm checking, I'm making sure it's not cut. Yeah, I really do need to swap this machine, I think, now. This is going to be a workshop machine. Awesome. Go. It has been oh, hammered and the, the things sorry. are so good. How is the Scarborough? Scarborough. Has been going. I keep saying to Sam we ought to go to Scarborough for a day. How long does it take from here? Oh, you may go this weekend, just for the day, or are you planning to go? <laughs> I'm I'm going down south for two days, so Sam's on about going to the coast. Scarborough's quite nice. I've not been Scarborough, but I've been Whitby. I've never done that. Yeah, um, Filey's lovely. Whitby's beautiful. So again, I'm just taking this out. So remember, I said there are options here. So I'm only going to do two of them. The first one is taking this bauble, so or this central shape, and we're cutting that out. The second option that you could do that I'm not going to do is taking one of the other baubles, so one of Sam's baubles, and cutting that out, because that will fit exactly as well. The other option is using one of the bauble stamps, and I will do that one. And I will do that exactly the same. So to show you the two different options. So here we go. First, first part. First part. Oh no, it's not I don't know. I can't remember first part. So you see there. Ruth asked. Right. No. Oh, Anne is going to Scarborough in oh, the autumn to a new car thingy. Went to Caton, new caravan, sorry. Patricia, where do I do workshops? There are only two places left I do workshops because there's only two shops left now that employ me. <laughs> the Art of Craft in Farnborough, which is where I am on Saturday. I'm doing a workshop for them in Frimley, uh, which is sold out. Um, and then I do a workshop three times a year in Louth, which is near Skeggy. Skeg Vegas. Skeg Vegas, where Sam sometimes takes me, drives me there, and then he goes on to Skeg Vegas. Like, see you yeah. And comes back. And then I go, ah, oh, Skeggy. So, again, final there. So I'm going to cut one in white. 
and I'll show you how this one would look. So you can see there, oh, this is the amount of pressure I put on that. There we go, take that off, there we go. So you can see now, when the foam tape comes in, it makes all the difference. Oh, I've got those layers cut, that's fine. But I'm just gonna build it up. <coughs> so I'm alternating the different colors of blues and the white. And we're building it up backwards. And when I foam tape it, that's when it will make the difference. And finally our frame. And you see, we're sort of going in. And I don't know what it is. I just love that look. It looks like, you know, a, a CNA jumper from the 80s or 90s, if anyone remembers coats and hats, as we used to call CNA. Um, so that's one option. The second option is to use one of the bauble stamps. So I'm going to do that one as well. <laughs> that's really going to Skate Vegas. When are you going to Skate Vegas? Saturday at a Park Dean, and I was looking at that. Well. Were you looking at a Park Dean? <laughs> do you know, oh some Sam's got, Sam will go on the odd sort of four day, five day. He might, it it goes all over the place when I'm really busy. Um, and he has not been once anywhere and not bumped into a crafter that knows him. What was I have never when Mallorca. I went, when I went to Mallorca, yeah. When he went to Mallorca, there was a lady. Are you Sam? I'm thinking. No, she mm. didn't. She said to oh, you. No, she looked round. She went, "Where's, where's John?" And <laughs> 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 um, nobody recognises me. Sam gets spotted. I don't. I I, I don't get spotted. Sam does. So what I'm going to do is I've just done our static bag on here. Yeah. So don't forget. Guys, if you're asking a question, put the word question in front of it. Not that I'm saying that to you, Stacey, but that way we can pull it out at the end and know what it is and make sure that we actually answer the question. Um, you'll like Park Dean, says Gemma. There's something, there's oh, something I, there for I, all I, ages. Done he, he's done a few things like that. He loves the stick holidays. He loves turkey and tinsel. He loves all those sort of things, you know, the big walking ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the baubles and I am going to heat emboss because we're keeping to this theme of blues and whites. Yeah. So I'm putting the bauble in the middle. I've already anti-static bagged it. I've got my stamp. I'm just going to ink it. And anybody who's asking or has been asking the new colour press to impress, if you only if you're looking to replace yours, if yours is getting a bit old and monkey like mine, is out on Tuesday. So it launches at Crate and Craft on Tuesday. That's answered three questions. Okay. Um, and also the hockey puck. It's called a stamping tool. It's called the stamp press tool because Sam named it because we were, I was really struggling. Um, is out as well at the same time. So there is one way you can get this and that. And to answer that question, yes, thank you. It did. The Mars bar cake was lovely. You were a bit cautious about trying it, weren't you? Oh. But he was fine. Sam was fine with it. And yeah, we had it on the way down. It was very nice. So just pressing that down. So I get such a better impression. This is on textured card as well, because I didn't I honestly did not think people have been on about these for years. And I really didn't think that this was necessary until the last couple of years. I found out it's getting harder and harder for me to press. I'm getting older and older. Um, um, and so basically, it's been a godsend. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't have actually ignored people asking for it for ages. However, the new Preston Press, the fab thing about it is, I'm going to be honest, you need to have the clear templates. You need the clear acetate templates so you don't mark it. But having that white foam makes all the difference. You can actually see where you're putting things can actually see where you're putting stamps in a line without them to slide card and under it and stuff. And the only way you get the white mat, before everyone starts yeah, before people start me, asking, it's the only way. yeah, because Sam, you will get, you will get loads of people asking him, can I buy a spare white mat? No, it is only in here. So you see now I've got the powder on. Remember, basic rule, heat your heat gun first, guys, honestly. Yeah, you don't need, if you've got one Maureen and you've just replaced it, you don't need to get the new blue one. So 
So I'm just heating it up. And then I'm just setting the powder. I know this is one of the things that gets so many people into crafting is doing this. It's seeing embossing powder turn that makes all the difference. So, I mean, I, I, do you know, I can't believe I, at no point did I ever do this. Doesn't that look beautiful on blue? Monkey. I wish I used that now. Oh, right, OK. No, the only way to get those magnets The only way well, to get the blue covered magnets to come with it. If you want that colour magnets and the white base, you, you that's, unfortunately you need to buy that's that. That's the colour of spares which you have available and will be on the show as well. That's the only way I'm... It's the lighter blue which works with it. But the dark blue, this is a limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, and once it's gone, it's gone. It's a limited edition. Um and, then we may have and it's the only one that comes with white and comes with blue. So you know, next time we might say what colour do you think we should go for next? But you see, I think that as a bauble looks lovely. Actually, I want to cut that one out. Um, but I'm not going to, um, you know, but we'll show you first what it layered looks like. Um, yeah, it's the, I haven't tried the eyes ink sparkle embossing powder. Because what, what else did I say I might try at the end of this show? Because we're running well on time. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these layers together to start with, but I'm not going to put the fern final layer. So, obviously, I'm going to start with the white. And it is going to be relatively boring because you're going to be watching me doing foam tape, but I am going to foam tape through each layer. Right, you can answer this question then watch the Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. Would you want to ask some of the questions? What foam tape do you like to use? Right, so foam this. tape I'm using is two millimetres. I always tend to use two millimetres. Um, I find one millimetre too small and three mil is a little bit thick and I can always double it up if I want thicker. So it, to me, it's always a two millimetre foam tape I use. Everyone has their own preference. It's just what I've got used to. Now, what I am doing is... I've put some around the outside because I don't want the card around the outside to lose all its 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 integrity because there's a lot of layers in this. But I do want to go as close to this shape as I possibly can because that's all that's supporting this because we're not flat sticking it. We're making that float over that so you've got more depth and shadow in it. You probably need to make an envelope for that. For this, asking, it's going to go on an eight inch and it's going to be deep. So you would need to, um, you would need to yeah, make one. you would need to make one. Oh, I know an answer to that one. Flora, can I get a Wentworth die anywhere? Yes. No, so no. No, Sarah's got two. What, Hotshot? It's Hotshot Crafts. Well, good luck getting hold of them. If you can get hold of Sarah at Hotshot Crafts, she sells on Amazon and eBay. It might be worth doing a Google search and see if you can get any contact for her. She had two left at the show at the end of the day because someone came up and told me that they'd finally found it. They'd been looking everywhere. Um, so, so good, luck. good luck, but I do know somewhere, yes, Hot Shot Crafts. Um, what else? So let's answer some questions. So there you go. But can you see a little bit of depth in there? It's probably more noticeable in real life, but it's a lot better than having it flat. There we go. You can see that. So again, I'm going to take then the next layer which is the frame, and we're going to do exactly the same again. So, did you say you've got some questions, Monkey Man? Yeah, you're going to have to repeat what I say because people can't hear me. Okay. Um, Northern Lights and Baubles. Right, Northern Lights on the Baubles. Loads of people have asked about that. Um, I've asked Inky Fairy, who did those, if she, uh, well, she's offered, actually. I didn't even ask her. Um, as Sam said, I don't have the skill level to know how to work that one out and I would need instructions to start playing. But when she has time, we will put them in the group. She has very kindly agreed to write some instructions for how she does those northern light baubles. So we, as soon as that's done, we will let everybody know. But bless her, Inky Fairy has agreed to do that for us. And she's a very busy lady. And she's a very busy lady. 
because she she does samples for it and she um, has a full-time job as well, bless her. Right, honesty Heart video, is there one? Yes, there is a video. Of honesty Heart video, someone said, is there one? Yes, there it's is. It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube. Playlists. On playlists. And then it's the two-hour-long workshop it's on the, um, her channel. Two-hour-long workshop on her channel. So we did do a two-hour-long workshop with that, and we included that Honesty Flower in there. So you just have to fast-forward until you find the bit you like or that you need for that. But again, you see, I don't know, just that on its own with a wide frame, I love that. I think that's so crisp. I just think that's so crisp and bright, but that depth really makes a difference. Is, so again... Is coconut white a true white? Um, is coconut white a true white? What's true white? What is true white? Um, if you think about... How do I phrase this? Some people just call true white. Some people call things true white, true red, true green. But basically, it's... How, how are it, they to say it's true? Yeah, that basically what they're doing is it's marketing white, marketing red, marketing green, marketing brown, because marketing... Public, they say mine's a true red and mine's a true yeah, white. Yeah, there is no, no such thing in the nicest possible way. There is no such thing as a true. Um, white as a colour doesn't exist, as I learned at college. It is light. Um, so what I would say is it is a very crisp white coconut white but it isn't if you're thinking like bleach white i would call that bleach white you know the whitest white it's a little bit off that but when you look at it it looks like a pro to me to me it looks like a true white but it's slightly off a little bit it's why we called it coconut so if you actually want to know what the color is think about what color the flesh inside a coconut is because that's the color it is if that helps. White, white, red, red, blue, blue. LOL says Helen Dennis. Yeah, Helen gets it. Yeah. <laughs> um, when stamping on the, the gold ball on a black card, what did you use? What I used was I used Craft Artist Clear Embossing Ink. Yeah. And then I used Eyes Ink Relief Jasmine, which is their white embossing powder. So I stamped in the ink, but we are going to go all through stamping next week so i will be doing heat embossing as well because we're going to use the preston press and we'll use the 2j stamps we might even do a little bit of fusion because the good news is if you missed out oh i should say this if you missed out of any of the original gold fusion if you missed out on any of the original pearl fusion which haven't been back in stock since april they are all back in stock on tuesday so tuesday morning at 7 a.m they are back in stock so I'll take my frame now and I'm going to do that. So I've foam layered every layer. Uh, what dye coat machine are you using? I'm using the Go Power and Emboss. Um, the one I've got here. What is that one? It's the one with the mark on the side. Years old. That's years old, isn't years. it? Yeah, because I swapped out the blue one that I'd got and we used that for workshops. So, yeah, it's probably about four or five years old, this one. Uh, what you it, of... It's definitely, Jackie, not a creamy white. It's not, a, she, it's Jackie who asked the question. She's saying, oh, she was w wondering if it was a creamy white. It's not a creamy white. We have got a cream coming. We have got a cream. Coming. And we have also got the basic grey is almost a bit of a cream. So that would be a better one. But any more um, Xmas coming? Yes, of course. This is me. <laughs> yes, there is my... Sort of, you know, I always do my Christmas collection. I do sort of two in two parts. So the next one, which is called, entitled, In a Pear Tree. It's very pretty. It is. And is that when the new ink it launches? Well? Yes. So yes. But yeah. That's not yet. But so In a Pear Tree is the final. It's not as big as the first collection. It's not as much. You know what we're like. So that's the sort of second you know, John Next Door die collection. There aren't as many this year. There is one standalone and some words yet to come. Right, everyone's asking me about the phone tape. Yeah, phone tape. Link is on the group. It's in, in the featured. Featured section at the top. When you go into the group, you'll see a like, little post in squares called featured. Or there's a link that says featured. Yeah, or there's a link that says featured. Just scan across there until you see phone tape. Click on that and it tells you where to get it from and a discount code to get you 10% off it. But it has risen in price, just to warn you. Yeah, it has gone up massively. Since we first started buying this, it's gone up massively. So you can see now, we've done a sort of reverse card. And I, 
it's really weird. It's one of those that you almost have to see. I'm hoping you can see that we're going in. It's like a tunnel or a pyramage card. Carol, the next flower yeah. comes out in a few weeks' time. So, oh, what's that? Carol. <laughs> Carol, yeah. Oh, Carol, yeah. The next flower, which is an inky one, comes out in the next few weeks. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm now going to show you the two alternatives for the back. So I'm going to foam tape these two together. We've been doing the kitchen. No, we'll do the kitchen, Claire. There'll always be another collection next year. You don't need everything. Although I've had uh, two deliveries today already, haven't I? <laughs> I had the new Stamperia Christmas collection I bought. No, the phone board's not come from Amazon. And I've not had a dis. I don't think I've had a dispatch <coughs> thing for it. Bet it wasn't on that delivery. Because oh. you ordered it. Because I ordered it. Oh, look, arrived in 2627. Oh. Dispatch to... Oh, it's Royal Mail. Oh. You ain't going to get that until tomorrow, then. No, let's hope it comes. Oh, yeah. oh Sinead O'Connor's passed. Oh, oh, I am sad. Oh, yeah, the phone tape comes on massive rolls. It does. It only comes on 25 metre rolls. I think it's order of one metre or something. Is it? So. Oh. So I'm just putting the tape on this one, but I'm not going to reveal it because I'm going to show you the two different options. Carol wants to order it now. No. Carol. Fires. Fires. No, Carol. Not that yet. No. There's not that many more flowers left this year, is there? There's that one and then there's another one. Then well, there's the stitchy one. I think there's only two. Yeah, there's not many. I think there's only two left after this next Christmassy one. I have told John to cut back on flowers. Yeah. Massively. Sam's told me to cut back on flowers. So, we've got this one. So that's one option. And we line it up. And it's really easy to line it up because everything lines up on a straight line. Yeah? And I, I don't know what it is. I just... I think I love that. I love the whole mix of that and the colours and everything. Now, I would probably add a little bit of glitter or something. That then goes on an 8x8 eight eight card blank. So you're going to struggle to get that in an 8-inch envelope. You're going to want a box or make your own bigger one. Yeah. Or we've got the bauble. So we can take that away. Naughty Sam, I collect flower dyes, says Sandra Witter. Oh, sorry. But you see there, we don't tell that it's a bauble. So all you've got is the winter scene. Now, I don't know, what do you think? What do you reckon, monkey? Which do you prefer? Sam is literally set, mouthing whatever, but he won't say it out loud. <laughs> I think I'll go with the bauble, shall I? Yes, I yeah. have a question. Yes. Jane's baubles. Yes, Jane's baubles. Um, is it compatible in size with any other baubles? Right, no. <clears throat> Oh, it's not, is it? That's one that... No. Jane's baubles oh. were last year. They are a medium size. So basically, the way we've got it is this year we've done... Sam's baubles are the largest ones we've done. The, the small baubles are the smallest we've done. Jane's baubles and the baubles I did last year are a medium size. And they're actually sized exactly. So this year's are three inches. Jane's were two inches. And this year's is like one and a half inches. So they're actually, if they were nesting dies, if you see here, Jane's will fit in the middle there. So they're designed so that they will work across. So you can bring last year, because last year's have got beautiful sentiments in them. So you could do a beautiful stamped big bauble, small bauble, and then have a medium bauble with your sentiment in die cut. So that was the whole idea. I like the stamping die. It's really So... Say that again. I like the stamp in the card. Where is the stamp coming in, please? Where is the what? There. Stamp. Yeah, it's already available. Yeah, it's already available. Stamp launched tonight. It was on TV this last weekend, and it launched in all good retailers um, tonight at six o'clock. So it's available from the Art of Craft, which is obviously the one, you know, that we sort of say is the official. It is the official. It is the official, because we love Jane and Penny. And I do work for them and do a lot of stuff for them and at the show and things. So it's there. So you can see there, 
I'm not really. Start wrapping up with the questions for you. Okay. But I'm just going to glue that on. Who yeah, is a hoarder? Lots of people. Yeah, I'm going to say don't because I'm really bad. Have I touched? I've bought. I've got stuff in these drawers that. Oh, Sam has more than me in his drawers. My they drawers need are sorting a out. Stage. Yeah. And I sort them out every few months. Yeah. See, that's why I'm encouraging Sam to actually go on, it's go on one of his his holidays. Oh yeah, that's when you spray. Right. Um, Sam's going on one of his. I, I'm trying to get him to go on one of his nice holidays when I've got some time at home, so I can rearrange the craft cave without him whinging at me. That's what I really need to do. Can someone please tell me the dies that were included in the tree bundle? Peg, you're gonna if you're a bit clearer, message me or private Sam. We'll try messages. and private messages, and we'll try and help. So. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a little bit of the crystal ice on it. Do we so, have the small bauble stamps? What do you mean? We're not sure what you mean about small bauble stamps. Michael. Michael. The stamp set is sold as, it's an A5 stamp set and it has two small and three large baubles on it and the bauble dies included. They're not available as separate things. You can't just have one. the small, it's all in one set. Then what are you doing now, sorry? So all I'm doing now while I answer the last sort of questions that Sam's going to ask is I'm just piping on using my fine glue applicator in any of the blank space where there'd be snow, some glue. Because I'm going to add on a little bit of crystal ice or crystal snow, is it? I'm sure I named them the wrong way around. Crystal. Yeah. And I'm going to go around this circle. Okay. And always when you're gluing like this, move your work, not yourself. It's easier to do it that way. So we had any other questions, Monkey? Right. Um, oh, we've got another giveaway question we've got to ask quickly. I'm going to pick oh, Sam's going to pick someone who's commented tonight <coughs> at random for the second prize before we go off air. Uh, would you do a limited edition diet just for a life? No. <laughs> you say the question. Uh, so the question was, would I do a limited edition die just for the live? And the answer is no, because that would be so unfair. But the also, Sam would get so many private messages from people saying, can we get this? We've seen because this. remember, people are blocked from the group as well. Yeah. Who still buy. People are blocked place. from the group who uh, yeah. may have, you know, broken rules or whatever else, and they are still... Customers that we love and genuinely think, but they're not in the group, and they would miss out Whatever on it. And we reason, wouldn't, and we wouldn't want to do that. It's just not worth it. So, um, yeah. Right. So, Nicola, do the stamps small fit the bauble dies? Yes, your dies are included anyway, Nicola. With the your, your dies are included with your stamps. You get the bauble dies that you need with all the stamps. You get one small, one, one small, large. one large, one one large crown, one small crown. Yeah, so you get everything in the pack. Yeah. For it. So you get that apart from that. So let's take um, that one away. But they also fit if you've got the Sam's baubles or the small baubles. There are spare. They fit exactly in those as well. So that if you wanted to cut both of those out at the same time, if you've got the small baubles, you just grab one of those and it will cut it out. Right, uh, JND 231 is available. No. What's JND 231? Uh, I can't remember, but it's not available. Sam's just checked and it's not available. Uh, JND, Sorry. JND 333 was Michael's question about small bubble fitting in the air bubble frame. No, 333 is last year's, which is Jane's bubble or the bubble frame. Yeah, it won't. They will fit into, you can stamp them in, but they will be smaller than that aperture was. That was a two inch bauble and this year's small bauble is a one and a half inch. So you'd have a quarter of an inch space all the way around it. It would still look really nice on there, actually, wouldn't it? Cut the frame solid without the baubles in. Stamp your baubles and cut them out and stick them on. Uh, oh, God, the time has flown. Yes. Uh, when's the glue out? Don't we don't know. We are waiting for it to arrive. As soon as it does, we will let everybody uh, know. Abroad or it's on a boat? It, yeah, we think, well, it's supposed to be on a boat nearly here. But they've said that two or three times. So we'll let you know. <laughs> we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um, how many pair in gold are there in Fusion? Right, there are 12 gold Fusion original colours. And then there were four new Christmas ones. So the total in gold Fusion is 18. 12 original, four new ones. 16. Like 18, it makes it? 16, sorry. 
I got my mind right. So Gold Fusion, there are 16 colours, 12 originals, which are back in stock are at 7am on Tuesday morning. Um, Pearl Fusion, there are six original colours, which are the ones that are back in stock for the first time on Tuesday morning. And then four Christmas colours. So there are 10 Pearl Fusions in total. Um, and on the show on Tuesday, you'll be able to get everything but the Christmas Pearl Fusions, which are still, we're waiting for, for restock of. But the original 12 gold and the original 6 pearl will be back in stock Tuesday morning at 7am. What kind of card are you using? And the card I'm using is jeans and denim from the old Craft 2 linen card ranger. So it's not happening. No, however, we have got blues very, very similar to this coming, haven't we? We've sourced them and ordered them. What is the angel policy? The angel policy, as long as it's handmade, do what the heck you like. And for me, do what you want anyway. No, it's handmade. Yeah, but as long as it's been handmade, you do what the heck you want to do. Um, and then another one is... Uh, can we pass on thanks to Crafts 2? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. We always do. Right, you need to read this part. Three years ago, John did a technique which looked like frosted bubble. Could you please show that again sometime? Right. Um, I don't know... To be really, really honest, you would need to send me more information because I've done at least one or two techniques a week, every week for years. And I can't remember from that what it was. Yeah. So uh, if you private message me or Sam with a little bit more description of what it was or a picture or something, then I can do it again. You say Trish, you? Yeah, oh Trish, yeah, message Sam, Trish. No, message John, because I'll go straight away. Yeah, no, well, you'll just pass it on to me or message me, Bev, and I'll sort it out for you. But yeah, I do so many that it's really difficult. We get sometimes people say, can you tell me how you did that card that you put on your blog three years ago? And I'm like, which one? Um, I, I do try and make at least two or three a day. Um, right, any final questions, get them in now. Yeah, so any final questions, um, get them in now. Sam's going to pick a second winner. Yeah, also, I'm trying to find something but can you see, you can actually see at the moment... Can Luna be brought individually? Luna is available individually from the Art yeah, of Craft. Art of Craft. Yes. But I think going forward it might be only available as fours. Yeah, I think, it, you know, as the stocks run down, it may be only available as fours. So the thing I was wanting to explain on this one, at the minute you're going to see a little bit of white behind this glittery snow. When that glitter, when that glue dries, all you will get is the glittery. So you will see the blue and the blue will be glittering, but... The amount of sparkle on there is crazy. And the only thing I would do is once all of these pearl dimension are dry, I would run glue and I would run another level of ice around this outer frame just to balance it. it. So the ice I was using... Well, oh, it's gone from there, hasn't it? I haven't well, got the just, packaging. It's it? it's, it, crystal ice, crystal snow. Which one is it? It's crystal snow. CAT118. I even know the code of this one. So Cat 118. Um, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's literally like having fragments. And it's really weird. It's one of those that doesn't come across, doesn't reflect light well on TV. Hello, Rolf. Oh, Rolf. Hello, Rolf. I've been looking at his cards. He's been putting some lovely cards in Crafting with Jody recently. I am a lurker. I lurk everywhere and look in everybody's. <laughs> CNC sent an email telling me my order had been delayed. <laughs> three hours. That's CNC. Right. The reason is they have got problems with their system. They are implementing a new crazy order system. Not that we're commenting. Um, I will put a post out. Some will put a post out when it happens. Um, they're putting a new uh, order system in and they've had lots and lots of problems. So Crafts 2 focus on getting your orders out to you rather than going and ticking a box. And today you've not been able to tick the box anyway. Um, so yeah, you may find that, but yeah, it's standard and it's, it's going to get more and more and more. Um, yeah, Julie Waller, mine arrived yesterday and today they said it was dispatched. Yeah, it's, it's, um, crazy the way it's working. So I hope you've enjoyed that card. Have we got any more questions? Oh, Sam's just picking a winner. If there's any more questions and, oh, question, here we go. Could I part make something and have it in a pack and send sell that? I.e. make the flowers to go along with a card and stamp out. Send it in a pack to make a card or would that I have to make the card? No, it's fine, Stacey. I have no problem with that at all. Um, what, what, what we say by handmade is we're trying, we don't, you don't want people just putting it Wait, into a machine. Don't scan a die cut and don't enlarge it. Don't scan a die cut and enlarge it and make it smaller and things like that. We're asking you to cut it by hand or electricity in your machine. There's companies that do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, and it, because it, it, 
alters the design and things. But yeah, of course you can do that, Stacey. We're, 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 we're really like, so my attitude's always been, you've bought the product. So pretty much you should be able to do what you want with it. Um, you're the one who's paid the money. You've, you're the one who's paid your hard mo earned money out to buy it. So you should be able to use it your way. And if you want to make a bit of money out of the bits that you've done from it, then it's fine. I'm taking a drink because I've been talking loud. And Debbie Sherwood says, I love the art of craft. They are so helpful. They are. The next one is Susan Clamp. And the next winner is Susan Clamp. So I've well done, minutes, Susan. So. so Susan and the other lady earlier, who I can't remember, which is why I can only do giveaways when Sam's here. Which is Lynn Bonner. Lynn Bonner. If you send Sam or me your uh, Sam or I your um, address, we will get those posted out to you tomorrow. I really hope you've enjoyed that card, guys. I've actually really enjoyed making it, but I would hope you've, you'd see we can achieve that. Yeah, all in the hour while talking, nattering, and gossiping. And it's just a case of cutting dies in sequence and foam taping it together. And we had the option of putting the beautiful bauble image, which doesn't look like a bauble anymore. It's just a scene. You could, I mean, what a, what a nice snow globe it would make that. It Any really questions? would. questions? And that one. Any more questions, just private message Sam and I. We're always happy to answer. As long as you don't message me after 10 o'clock at night and you don't message Sam before 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> I cover the early morning. He covers night time. Right, take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Sam. Bye. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.